Now, at Wind and Sling, we approach the golf swing very differently from a technique and movement perspective. From how we power the swing to create circular motion and escape force out to the club head, to our grip, our stance, how we path the club head, to our tempo and sequence, to how we fully release the club head, and to our take on concepts like swing arc and lag. The Wine and Sling Golf Swing is based on creating mechanical advantages using natural movement. Mechanical advantage being defined as creating a desired amplification and output force. And natural movement meaning our joints are only required to move within their designed range of motion. In other words, we become extremely anatomically efficient, both in how we maximize the transfer of energy out to our club head, as well as how we limit the amount of stress and strain on our back and body. And since you're probably wondering what I'm doing with this big rock and rocking dolly, let's use them to demonstrate mechanical advantage. Now, I have little chance of lifting or turning the rock by myself. But if I apply the mechanical advantage created by the lever effect of the rocking dolly, you can see how easily I can lift the rock. And now if I apply the mechanical advantage created by the wheels and axle, I can very easily turn and move it. In fact, the lever and the wheel and axle are two of what are called the six simple machines, which are man-made devices that can change the direction and magnitude of a force. So by taking advantage of the lever and the wheel and axle, I've amplified my output force while at the same time reduced the energy needed for movement. And the answer starts with the fact that for decades, we have had turn, turn, turn beat into our heads as the primary mechanism to power our golf swing, convincing us the spine is a spring, where if we hold the bottom and turn the top, when we let it go, we're supposedly going to whiz around at tremendous speed. But unfortunately, the facts are your spine is not a spring or a rubber band. And while it likes flexing forward and laterally bending side to side, it doesn't like extending backwards. But most importantly, as it applies to the golf swing, it absolutely hates to be held on the bottom, turned on the top, and twisted like a DNA helix, which is what you most likely do to power your golf swing. And if you want any more evidence of this, spread your feet to create that wide, solid base you've been told creates the platform for power. Keep those knees apart, limit the movement of your lower half, and now turn your shoulders as far as you can to develop all that torque you supposedly load into your spine when you twist it. And man, you're going to head it a mile from here when you let go of all this stored load and energy, right? Well, why when you jump up in the air and release your attachment to the ground, does this energy not release, making your legs fly around underneath you? The answer is because there's no inherent energy created by twisting the spine. The spine and the lower back do not store energy. It takes a force to twist the spine one way, another force to slam that movement to a stop, and then another force to create the energy to accelerate in the other direction. Picture your spine and lower back as your car's transmission, which you know won't last too long if you continually slam shift it from reverse into a forward gear. So the bottom line here is holding the bottom and turning the top as your primary generator of circular motion is mechanically and anatomically inefficient at best and actually limits your ability to create escape force out to the club head, while at the same time places an enormous strain on your lumbar spine and its supporting cast of soft tissue. The wind and sling golf swing system creates circular motion in a very different way. Instead of twisting the spine, you'll learn how to use natural movement to activate your own anatomical rocking dolly, which will increase the amplitude of your output force and efficiently transfer it out to your club head while limiting the strain on your body. You'll realize that big time distance gains can be made by simply changing the way you move and that all of the golf related flexibility and fitness programs are only as good as the movement system they're a part of. Your reaction when you learn to replace your turn, twist and hit at the ball mindset with a wind and sling the club head with the ball just getting in the way mindset will be one of amazement. And I've seen the same reaction from beginners to tour and long drive professionals to senior players not capable of reaching par fours in regulation anymore who are so frustrated with their loss of distance they're considering giving up the game they played their entire lifetime.
The strike right is in use at Jim McLean Golf Schools and endorsed by high-profile instructors like Martin Hall because it works to actually cure the over-the-top, not just treat the symptoms. The angled swing arm and inverted impact pad provide you a simple road mat to activate your anatomical rocking dolly. Matching your spine angle to the angled swing arm and delivering the club head squarely up and into the inverted strike pad requires you to move in a manner that amplifies your output force and path the club head correctly. Or in other words, you'll create the movements necessary to maximize your club head speed while at the same time eliminate your over-the-top move. The Strike Rank Golf Swing Trainer serves as your GPS to guide you down the road to correct movement and also highlights your club head's final destination at the strike pad. If we give our brain and body clear direction and the final destination for our club head, it's amazing how quickly they'll work together to create the necessary movements to consistently get it there. And this is counter to the typical approach most golfers use where they try to link a bunch of positions together, hoping this results in the club head ending up at the correct final destination. The strike right takes hoping out of the improvement equation and lets you increase the frequency of correct movement repetitions, which is key for not only learning new swing movements, but also ingraining and maintaining them for subconscious recall once learned. It's just like driving a car where you're aware of the destination, but you're not consciously thinking about the directions or the actual movements necessary to drive the car. They happen subconsciously as a result of knowing where you're going. And the more times you successfully reach your destination, the easier that trip becomes to the point that, say, a regular trip to the post office or market happens without any conscious thought. And most likely while you're on the phone or singing to the radio or thinking about anything but how you're actually physically moving in order to drive the car. And the golf swing is just the same, where the more often we can see and feel our club head's final destination, the faster we can learn and maintain the necessary movements to get it there without overwhelming ourselves with conscious thought. But most golfers wrongly make their club head's destination the golf ball. And we all know we can make contact with the golf ball with an over-the-top move or any of the other countless swing flaws we can come up with. And in most of these cases, a poorly struck shot as a result. But with the strike right, your club head's destination is not the golf ball, but instead it's the strike pad, which is positioned, say, two feet after and above the golf ball on the continuation of your circular path. And to deliver your club face squarely up and into the inverted pad, you must path the club head correctly and move in a manner that eliminates the over-the-top move. Additionally, the strike pad is actually positioned at the point of top club head speed. So not only does it help you train the correct path, it also lets you see and feel how to maintain a square club face through the strike zone, while developing a complete release, resulting in maximum club head speed and accuracy. And as you can see, I've designed the strike right for everything from slow motion drills to full speed swings. And you can find out more information on the Strike Right at windandsling.com, as well as the Strike Right memory movement training video and all the great drills you can perform on the Strike Right. The Strike Right is an essential addition to any game improvement plan. It dramatically reduces the time it takes to learn and maintain swing movements because it eliminates the strike at the ball tendency and the ball bound tension and anxieties that come along with it. You don't get lost in the preoccupations and frustrations of ball flight results and instead can focus on your movements and the feelings associated with them. Science has proven that consistent repetition training, in particular where you can watch yourself perform correct movements, is the key to learning and ingraining movement patterns. The strike right serves as both a virtual swing coach and a practice range. It guides you to move correctly while providing instant feedback and gives you easy access to increasing both the number of correct repetitions you make as well as the number of days on which you make them. The more correct repetitions you make, the more improvement you'll make. So a few minutes a day on your strike right at your home or office will yield noticeably better results than relying on your most recent can't-miss tip and the weekly rain session to get you ready for your weekend game. For more information on this, I encourage you to check out my article on Is Making a Golf Swing Change as Easy as Riding a Bike? which you can find on my blog page at windandsling.com. The Wind and Sling Golf Swing System, along with training on the Strike Right Golf Swing Trainer, will get you striking the ball further and straighter than you ever thought possible.
In my wind and sling golf swing system, I provide a comprehensive breakdown of the whys and hows to performing the wind and sling. The system includes an ebook with four hours of video lessons covering every facet of the swing. My advanced lesson series is designed for wine and sling members who've worked through the main swing system and are interested in grad school level instruction. And my Fit Faster Longer video shows the workout I used to take my swing speed over 140 miles an hour and includes additional drills and exercises that will help you maximize your club head speed while improving your overall level of conditioning. Once you're familiar with the system, my Strike Right Memory Movement Training Program provides you the fastest way to learn and incorporate the wine and sling techniques into your swing and includes all of the great drills you can perform on the Strike Right Swing Trainer. And an important note here, the Strike Right is not just a wine and sling training aid. It's endorsed by top teaching professionals because of its ability to quickly ingrain movement patterns no matter what swing system or techniques they're training. Again, welcome to windandsling.com. Make sure you watch the free lesson on the over-the-top move, and please take a few minutes to check out the rest of the site. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach out to me at tom at windandsling.com. And until next time, best swinging.